guys and gals, welcome to another lesson brought to you by Drums Anytime. Okay, so here's the concept behind this lesson. This is something I started working on um, earlier this week. Uh, it was a result of kind of, actually it had to do with looking at, uh, watching some Taylor Hawkins clips and realizing, you know, obviously it's so sad that he passed away. Great player, great showman, but I could really see his uh, Bonham influence, right? And uh, one of the things that I've always been uh, not good at is playing crossovers, right? And this is something that he was pretty good at, uh, Bonham and Taylor Hawkins. And uh, anyway, it, it's the idea of like, you know, putting one hand under the other when you're doing a fill or whatever. But in this case, I wanted to work specifically on triplet uh, hand-foot combinations. So here's what I did. I came up with a pattern that I wanted to work on, right? Based on eighth note triplets. So it's like this. Um, it's like this. So you have a quarter note. We're going to play quarter note on the hi-hat, okay? So and the pattern is this. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's just a one-bar pattern. If you're thinking of eighth note triplets, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I'm leading with my left hand. So I wanted to practice that and get better at doing that crossover. Right? Um, but I wanted to have a quarter note pulse on the hat, but then I wanted to be able to play it in different subdivisions. So this is what I've been working on. Hopefully this will inspire you to do this sort of thing. Um, where I want to play it as quarter notes, as eighth notes, as eighth note triplets, as sixteenth notes, and then sixteenth note triplets. Maintaining a quarter note pulse. So let's do each one separately, and then later on we'll put them all together. So by quarter notes, I mean like this. If this is the quarter note, right, it'd be a bar of 12-4. This is 12 notes in a bar of 4-4 four, four if it's 8th note triplets, right? So it'd be like this. Here we go. skip that part because when you're playing it slower you can really focus how do your hands feel how everything sounds and all that and it's not it, it's not easy right well it's it's it needs to be worked on let's just put it that way okay so then we're going to do eighth notes and that's like this okay that's a bar of six four right 12 eighth notes Play it as eighth bar six six four. Okay. Then we want to play it as eighth note triplets, which is kind of like the the template, so to speak. One, two, three, four. Okay. It's a bar four four, right? One, two, three, four. Okay. You notice I'm leading with my left, left right foot, left right foot. Then we want to play it as 16th notes, which means it's going to be our bar 3-4. Okay, it's like this. One, uh, let me count it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, it's hard. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that's bar 3-4, right? Do it again. Three, four. And then 16th note triplets. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Uh. Right. Four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. So there's, there's, let's see. Quarters, eights, eighth note triplets, 16th, 16th note triplets. Practice it with a click, playing each way, okay? And then once you're comfortable with doing them separately, because there is some independence there, right, uh, then we'll put them together. Okay, so spend time in that. We'll come back in a minute, and we'll play them all together, kind of climbing the ladder. Start at quarter notes, go to 16th note triplet, triplets, chiclets, 16th note triplets, and then come back down to quarter notes.
Okay, so that's it, playing back to back from quarter notes to 16th note triplets and then back to quarter notes. So as I said earlier, just do one subdivision at a time. Get used to the independence with the quarter note on the hi-hat. Um, take your time with it, do it slow, do it to a click. And then when you become comfortable with each subdivision, start adding them. So go from quarter notes to eighth notes, right? And then quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets. And do all the different variations, okay? So again, I hope you get something out of this. I appreciate you watching. Uh, until next time, take care.